video i will be showing you how you can install wordpress on your sam and run it on your local system so first of all uh, you need to go ahead and search for xam on google xam download so head on to the first link that you get here apart friends then download the version that you actually prefer here so in my case i have already downloaded the 64 bit version for php 8 and i have already installed it so you need to download and install before you can move on to this so once you have downloaded and installed you need to go on to the xam then you need to start this that is apache and mysql in order to run the wordpress so it's already running on my system so now what i'll do is i need to go on to downloading my wordpress from the wordpress website so i'll go on and download wordpress from here you need to click on get wordpress here download this uh, wordpress latest version so i'm gonna download this it's getting downloaded so once it has got downloaded you need to head on to your downloads folder and then extract the wordpress into a separate folder over here so i have already extracted here now uh, in order to create a website you need to go to xam explorer go to htdocs folder create a new directory for your personal website so go on to new and then folder so i'm going to create my site over here new site so i'm going to name it as my um website that is uh, for arts uh, okay i'm going to create a photography website so i'm going to name it as my photography All right so this is my photography uh, website directly over here so i need to copy all the wordpress files that i have downloaded from here i'm going to select all and copy all then i'll go to my root directory that is my photography and i'm going to post uh, paste them over here boom they got copied over to my directory folder over here so once all the data got copied you need to visit your local uh, website your own here so localhost slash your directory name that is my photography and then you need to set up your database first so in order to set up your database first you need to create a new database so go ahead to localhost and then go to php my admin here you need to create a new database you are by clicking on databases tab over here create a um, photography my photography database and then click on create done so you just need to remember the name of this database when you're creating your or connecting your website to your uh, database so here i need to head on to wpf admin to set up my site at a for php so you need to visit this url before you can proceed with anything else so i'm gonna click on this All right, so you need to select your language over here. I'm gonna select English. Uh, so in the in the screen, it is showing that you need to provide all this detail in the next screen once you click on next, uh, let's go. So provide the database name that you have created over here, that is my photography. And provide the name that is root. Uh, so you need to provide the uh, username as always root whenever you're creating a website with localhost so it can be anything else when you're creating with a server but in case of that it has to be root always and you need to leave your password blank and database host needs to be localhost you can change the uh, table prefix as per your requirement but i'm retaining the default one over here and i'm gonna click on submit all right so i did it wordpress has now my database connection i'm gonna run the installation over here so you need to provide your site title so my photography 
site and then i'm gonna provide my username like i'm gonna provide admin and then you provide a password for this so i'm gonna confirm use weak password and provide a email for your website wherein you'll be getting all the notifications of your website so this is my email and i'm gonna if you want your website to appear in search engines like google ring and all you have to uh, keep this unchecked and otherwise if you don't want it to be appeared you can select this one and install wordpress boom i got my wordpress website installed so i'm gonna log in by using the username that i have provided wow so i got created my first site over here and this is my first website so i can modify this website as per my requirement and change the theme coloring data and anything that i want so yeah this is how you can install a wordpress website on your local host by using sam i hope the things are clear if something is not clear please feel free to write back to me in the comment section i'll be very happy to assist you thank you Have